Hi guys, how is everybody? I'm feeling much, much better. Thank you very much. Um, it wasn't really my intention to uh, beg for uh, loves and compliments and for everybody to be telling me to get well, uh, get better. I was just so excited. I had so much fun stuff that I wanted to show you. Um, I do have a bit of a lingering cough. Um, it's not nearly as severe as it was, and my voice is almost back to normal. It doesn't sound normal in my head, so I don't know. It might sound normal to you. It sounds a little rough in my head still. Hi, princess. What are you doing? I'm making a mess is what I'm doing. So, um, I spent two days at home sick last week. I went to Instacare. I got some antibiotics. About two days into antibiotics, I started to feel a lot better. Went back to work. Um, you know, did the things. It was, it was kind of nice staying at home. I have not worked a full week since uh, June started. So, <laughs> yay me. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, anyway, hi. How is everybody? Have you had plenty of time to do all of your fun, fun stitching stuff? I certainly hope so. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff to show, but um, what I do have to show I'm excited about. So, let's get us started off with the... progress report. So mostly what I worked on uh, was Oh Holy Night Nativity. This is by uh, Stony Creek and I got a whole almost almost an entire wise man done. That wise man is kind of a glittery dude you guys. Let's, I have a peony here because I was feeling sorry for myself so I bought me flowers. Anyway, so I got all, if it's green, I definitely stitched it. And I think I put on, put his head and his hat on. I can't remember if I had done his arms yet or not. I don't remember if you guys had seen that. But, so he was all stitched in this week. Mostly on the two days that I stayed at home sick. I just kind of sat in here. I watched you guys on FlossTube. I watched some of my favorite uh, knitting podcasts and stitched and stitched and stitched and stitched and stitched until my eyes were tired and then I knit. So that's, that is all that I stitched on this past week, the most important one. I did get a little tiny bit of stuff um, done on Inspiration, the At Work project, because I did end up going to work for a couple of days last week, but not a lot of progress, so I left it at work today so um, we can look at that again uh, much better next week. That sentence really didn't work out how I thought it should, um, but I tried. Right? Right. I opened a package and Princess is down here rubbing against my legs. Um, I've got the table loaded with all sorts of stuff so who knows if she'll jump up on the table or not. So that's all of the super fun cross stitch stuff that I did. Um, I did get one thing in for a uh, Stashquisition and that is the subscription that I have for uh, the So Much to Love uh, Bag of the Month Club. And this, uh, for June, I'm on the every other uh, Bag of the Month. Anyway, so this is super fun starfish uh, fabric. It has a lovely gold um, a shimmer to it. The uh, It kind of looks like coral, you know, the brain coral or a, a sort of an anemone thingy. Anyway, up here also has little gold head flicks to it. Summer, beach, warm, fun, right? Looks like all those wonderful things. Yay! So that is the uh, uh, June bag of the month. And in it was this cute little um, follow, the, follow the stars, find your safe harbor. It's a hands-on design with the little button. Cute, cute, cute. So, so that is my stash acquisitions and cross-stitching stuff for um, the past week. I know, not a lot, but I didn't get up to much. Well, I did, but oops, there were a couple other things that came in the mail. I've just, you know, 
in, out, here, there, all over the place, have completely lost my mind, but that's okay. So, I did receive the uh, uh, latest edition of Just Chris Cross Stitch Magazine. And before you guys go nuts telling me about it, it includes a pansy pattern to make into a pincushion. I don't know about you, but they always seem to show the single um, petal up. Whereas I'm used to it, the single petal goes down. Single petal down is a proper pansy, not single petal up. That's nonsense. So that came in the mail. Kind of excited about that. Plus some other cute charts. I expect uh, Danielle Stitcherista will do a flip through of that magazine so you all can go over to her channel and check it out. Um, let's see. What else did we get? I have to open up the note to remember because my brain is not entirely there. Ah, Linda. Linda emailed me and asked for my address because she had something to send to me. And it arrived in the mail, and she sent me this super fun book, Cats and Kittens in Cross Stitch. Look right there, you guys. It's a cat with pansies. I might have to change the color of the cat so that she matches Princess a little bit better. I might have to purple up those pansies. But that's really cute. This is one of those wonderful old-school um, books where the patterns are sort of hand-drawn, remember? And then the pictures are only on certain pages. I'm looking for, there was another cat that prominently fe featured pansies. Nope, that's the cover one. Where's the other one? Do, 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. Here it is. Black and white cat with pansies. She looks like a, a lot more like, um, like princess. And those pansies need to be purpled up. And I don't know about the apricot fabric, but you know how it goes, so. That was an awesome, fun, a fun gift. So thank you very much, Linda. This will be fun eventually. One of these days when I live to be 150 bajillion, I will be able to stitch all the things in my stash. So, so there you go. I nearly forgot that those two things had arrived until I was shuffling stuff around. So, okay. So let's move on from cross stitch to knitting and oh yarn so in the evenings while I was homesick um, when my eyes got tired of cross stitch then I would switch over to knitting and I felt I had all only enough brain power to um, work on the uh, sock head hat so here you go um, this is where I was at the beginning of last week so here and below is what I had done last time I, I showed you. So I did all the way up to the top. And then this other marker was just for me to see how much I had done in an evening. You know, about three quarters of an inch, half an inch, something like that. So I just knit, 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 knit. And it's turning out super, super pretty. I just, I love these colors. They're happy, they're springy, they're fresh. I like them a lot. A lot a lot a lot so there you have that somebody asked me how I get such even tension and the honest answer is I don't know it's just always been like that even when I was working on um, like my my test strips um, back in oh I don't know I guess it was February when I was really first learning how to do this you know it was always fairly even tension I don't know I guess, is that weird? Somebody thought that that was weird that my tension has always been really even, even if I've only been knitting um, since like February of this year. But I don't know. I, I, I have no answers as to why it's so even. I just, that's just the way it's always been. I guess I can feel it. I'm more of a tactile person and I can just feel how I want it to go. Oh, and there's Princess back there on the table. Back there getting in trouble. So that is everything that I stitched on, but of course, we have a whole ton of yarnquisitions to look at. So, yarn in the bin o yarn. Um, uh, well, we'll start with the Miss Bab stuff. So, 
Miss Babs had a temper, uh, one of off colorway called Forest Pansy. And you know who had to buy a skein of Forest Pansy? That's right, this child. It didn't even, I didn't even think about it. I'm like, oh, Pansy, mine. If it says Pansy, we have to buy it. So that is a skein of Forest Pansy in the base that is Caroline. And this is the one that is, uh, 70% wool, 20% cashmere, and 10% nylon, and it's so soft. It is the softest, softest thing. And so it's got some black and some really dark, dark, dark purples in there, and it's really a beautiful, a lovely colorway. I would like it to have less black, but mm, what, a, what can you do? Um, then they had another colorway that was called um, Lonely Nights, and it was purple. And I think it's the combination of the colors and the name, you know, single gal, home knitting. It's not really lonely. I've got all you guys keeping me company. And princess. I don't know if princess counts as company or not because cat. But anyway, so I bought this in the Caroline base. Let's get this on screen properly. Um, really, really nice colors. Um, purples, a little bit of blues, some lighter colors. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I need to find something to do with that. And then I also bought the same colorway in um, the Tarte, um, uh, come on, uh, base. And the Tarte is a 75% uh, merino wool, 10% nylon, and 10% tinsel, which I don't know. I don't know what that means, guys. I, I just, I don't. So it's really pretty and it's it's really interesting how it's not showing up here but in person you can see that the colors on the uh, Caroline are a little bit softer than they are on the Tarte. The Tarte is a little bit stronger. So anyway, so those had to come home to live with me from Miss Babs. And last of all, another skein of Yauza, which is the uh, DK light worsted um, Thing. And this is, what is this? This is Summer Overture. And it has the lovely purples that I love. And then I enjoy these little, the pops of turquoise that are in here. Um, just really, really fun. And I haven't been able to wear uh, my brickless very much, but it was just such a soft yarn and I enjoyed the feel of, of this in my hand. So this came up for sale, um, sort of a, a one-off colorway. And it was just, look at that. Beautiful, 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 really dark colors here, up to the lights. So I'm looking for the perfect pattern to uh, knit this into since I only bought a, one skein. Well, there was only one skein to be true, perfectly honest. So there is that. So those are my O yarns from Miss Babs. Oh, I just love them, you guys. I just love them. Put that over there. And so... Um, I bought one more skein because crazy cuckoo in the head, right? So <clears throat> this is um, the Creatives Ob Obsession. Um, this is her uh, lovely sock base, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. Um, of course, it's a colorway pansy. I don't know, but I love that button. Must make stuff. How many of us are like that? Must make stuff. I need to do something. I love doing something and just creating and building and just, ah, oh, love it. Anyway, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous colors. We have more of the plummy purples down here, more of the blue purples here, a little bit of yellow throughout. And I absolutely love the button. Must make stuff. Must. So there's that. She's on Etsy. The uh, Creative Obsession. There you go. She had some beautiful yarns. And then this is uh, Crafty Mama Designs. Was she out of Canada? I think she was. Anyway, off of Etsy, out of Canada. I ordered a pro couple of project bags from her. And let's see, this is the first one I ordered. Open up, open up. And it's, it's from this wonderful purple and flowers and fun green um, a cheater cloth which is what I call the 
the ones that have all the patches sewn together. And look, that that lining, the, the Rick Racks, that's fun. Fun, fun, fun. So here's her Crafty Mama designs on a ribbon. So there is that one. And then about a week after I purchased this one, um, this one. Look at those pink and purple sheep, you guys. Oh my goodness. It came up in her, uh, her market and I didn't even think twice about it. I just clicked on it and said mine. And uh, purple polka dots on the liner. We know how I love purple polka dots. Love them. Anyway, so when I ordered this one, and it was about the same time that she had finished making this one, she asked if I, she wanted them sent separate. And I said, no, that's cool. You can just wait and they can be sent together. So they arrived. They're cute. This one is a larger bag. This one is not as large. I can't even remember the size of the... Anyway, so there you go. I love this finishing detail with the, uh, the thing over the end of the zipper. I need to learn how to do that because that's brilliant. I love that a lot. There's a lot I can learn from the uh, way other people make their bags. So that is everything that we acquired in the yarn section of our fun and games. But never fear, we still have some. Sewing silliness to look at. And this time, guys, I didn't, well, okay, I about told you I didn't buy anything new. I didn't buy any new fabric this week. Winner, right? Totally. Um, I finished up my two Halloween project bags that I was working on, so all sewn up, ready to go. Little clip on the end so you can attach it to things. And this one, pretty much the same, just skulls on top. I didn't have enough skulls for the skull anyway, but so here are these two fun project bags. This one, I had problems on this side. You can see how much smaller this stripe is from the other stripes. Kind of funny. I tried so hard. I don't know. Have you ever had project bags that just fight you? This one was a total fighter. It was fighting me tooth and nail. But totally worth it. She looks good. Looks really, really good. So, pleased with how those turned out. As per usual, it'll be one for me, one for the gift box. And I really should start contemplating sending stuff out for the gift box. Seeing as on the 20th, which is that, what, that's Wednesday, is my, it's my potiversary, but I don't know if I am, I've been in this house two years, so yeah, that'll be the end of two years and the start of three years of, of doing shows for you guys. So there you go. Wow. Almost, I should do something, but I should have thought of something to do beforehand, but um, then again, I've been doing the play, and so that's been busy, but uh, none, of that, none of that is any of this, so um, next to the next, on to the next silly thing that I did. So I had to finish up two thing, projects that I had cut out and sort of halfway in project before I got to start a new one. So I made a silly little owl pincushion. He's supposed to be an owl. I don't know where I went wrong, but he kind of goofy looking. Probably because as I put his eyeballs too far up on his beak and his eyes ball should be really down here. And I tried to um, satin stitch his beak on with orange floss, but that didn't work so well either. That was kind of a mess, but I tried. And here's my first attempt at uh, doing a yo-yo over the cover of the thing, but um, I don't know. Anyway, so I saw R.S. Island Crafts, um, the lovely Robin. She did a tutorial on the Silly Little Owls um, not too long ago, maybe about a month. Um, I'll try to link it in the show notes below, as per usual. Um, anyway, so I was working on him, so I took a picture, I posted it on the... Um, Friday Off The Grid group, and I said, this guy is kind of goofy, kind of ugly. And they all said, oh no, he looks, he's not an owl. He's more like a dog looking up at you ever hopefully with the little orange nose. So this little guy might become known as ever hopeful. Please give me a treat. That's all I want is just a treat. Treat me, treat me. So I think I'll make, try to make another couple of these. Maybe my, um, 
whip stitch sewing skills will improve. Maybe my satin stitch skills will improve. Maybe I'll learn how to actually pay, pay, place his eyeball so he's not looking off the top of his head. But anyway, he did not turn out badly. Just not entirely as, as expected. But isn't that the truth of most things? Most of the time they don't turn out exactly as expected? Eh. Anyway, the last thing I worked on, I got half a bag done. So I was watching a yarn uh, podcaster and she was talking about this takeaway tote that she purchased um, from Never Not Knitting is the name of the store and then this is her a little division called Sometimes Sewing. Anyway, so it's a pattern for this cute little take along tote. And so I started working on that and having a good time and I got half of the bag done. So this is, this is half of the bag. I got the outside. It's been sitting here all day and it's not quite, quite. Anyway, there we go. Cooperate. So here's half of the bag. Put the round bottom on. I used some of the cheater cloth fabric that I bought the other day. It's lined. So I need to put together the interior portion, the lining and um, put the lining in the thing and sew it all together and make it wonderful and there's a different you can see how they use straps for handles so I have some I have some polyester uh, strapping for the handles but I don't think that will work so well so I think I'm going to make a casing for my polyester striping to just you know put that in there so it's stronger anyway so that is the fun that I have had this past week with sewing silliness Okay, that is, that's the stuff that I've been working on and that I have been crafting and all that sort of stuff. And I love this button. Have I told you that I love this button? I love this button. Make stuff. Anyway, um, so, tales from here, there, and everywhere. Um, tales from the theater, I guess. We are, next week, the 23rd, is going to be my last day on the show. It has been a great, um, we've done 11 weeks so far, so it'll be a 12-week run by the time we're done. Um, uh, over 100 shows. Um, it's been, it's been fun. Um, this past week on, I guess it was one of our Saturdays when we were doing a two-Saturday show, uh, one of my uh, men's ensemble, he's a little needy, I call him my problem child. Um, he came to up to us, you know, right as we're getting ready to go for the last uh, number of the, the show, you know, the big finale. And he's like, I can't find my, my pink vest. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You can't find your pink vest. You were wearing it five minutes ago. What did you do with it? I don't know. I can't find it. I can't find my pink vest. Okay, um, we did a cursory search, just a really quick one to try to figure out, okay, it's really not in your dressing room, it's really not hung up here, okay, um, I don't know. So we just put him in his doubles um, vest, it's a bit different size, so it didn't fit as perfectly as the one he normally wears. Sent him on stage so he could do the final number, take his bows, and then we had an hour and 15 break between shows where you get some dinner, um, you know, reset all your presets, do do the stuff is what we do. So during that time, I ate quickly and I spent the vast majority of time looking for my problem child's vest. We could not find that thing ever anywhere. I mean, I flipped through the clothing in the women's um dressing rooms we have you know the the principal and then the ensemble dressing rooms because it's pink so maybe it got put up and put in with you know one of those so it wasn't there I checked the other men's the principal men's dressing room it wasn't in there I checked the um the men's ensemble dressing room I looked in every single um stall you know in case it had been hung up in the wrong guy's thing it's not there um, a problem child swears that he's looking to, I think he was just playing around on his phone, um, just 
looking and looking and looking and looking for this thing. And so an hour and 15 later, we're getting ready to go to the next show. Oh, I even went up to um, the laundry room to see if I could figure out if it had somehow made its way into laundry. I was checking um, all the costume racks um, from Music Man that closed a week ago. And so the costume racks are out. All those costumes have been pulled and so they're being cataloged and cleaned and put back in the warehouse. So, you know, we have some costumes for other shows that we're not actually using. So I'm looking through there in case it was misfiled. We're getting ready to stage Newsies. So some of the costumes for Newsies are also out. So I'm looking through those just to make sure that, you know, it hasn't been misplaced. We've got to start the show. So I'm like, okay, dude, you're just going to have to wear, you know, check the Monday, Wednesday, Friday cast, see if there's a vest that fits you better. It's the best we can do. We will keep looking, see if we can find it, you know, so you can go out and do your things. So he goes out, he does his first uh, set of um, his first dance, and then he changes into a carnival guy and one of his costume pieces is a giant top hat. Inside his giant top hat was his pink vest. Oh, the trials and tribulations, right? The trials and tribulations. So we, we finally found it and got him all hooked up and ready to go. I need to stop playing with that because it makes noise. Anyway, so... We have it, we, we, we joke about amongst ourselves. Did you look or did you actor look? So actor look is the panic and just, I can't see it from if I stand in the middle of my dressing room. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? Especially for my poor needy guy. Anyway, so it was a good show. We had three good shows on Saturday, really good show on Friday night, got all sorts of stuff done. Um, the audience really seems to like the show. We have done more performances than the Broadway cast uh, was able to put on. Thank you, Hamilton, for running this one off of the, uh, the stage. Um, but Hamilton's kind of a juggernaut, isn't it? Let's see. What else? There was another funny story that I was going to tell you. Oh, oh, oh! I decided to cook me some hamburgers the other day when I was getting to feeling better and, and up for having some real food. So I went out. I have... A smaller, it's a Weber Q. So, you know, kind of a smaller, but really heavy duty um, gas barbecue on a little stand. So I will wield my my Weber Q from the corner where I, of my balcony where I store it, out into the middle of the balcony, hooked up the gas line, turned it on, started up my Weber Q. It was, um, it was heating up. Went inside, I buy the little hamburgers already in patties from Costco because they're cheap and they're easy and they live in the freezer and it's fine. Counted off, you know, however many hamburgers that I wanted to cook, took them back outside, put them on the grill. It's nice, it's sizzling. I'm thinking, yes, grilled burger is gonna be good. Came back inside, set a timer, because if I don't set a timer, I will forget about the food and the food will overcook. Anyway, set a timer, came back, just puttered around, timer went off, went back outside and I had run out of gas. I did not have hamburgers that were mm, wonderfully grilled and tasty on one side. I had a pack of nicely thawed burgers. Mm, not frozen at all anymore. Pink and pink as the, the day they were uh, ground. So I took them off the grill, brought them inside, started up the broiler, and had broiler burgers. Oh well. But now on my list of things to do is to uh, take the tank over to Suburban Propane and have it filled out. So one of these days, one of these days when I'm not working on a Saturday, which is going to be next weekend. Woo -woo. Okay, not next weekend, but like the 30th. I won't have to do the show. Woo -woo. Actually get a day off. Yay! Okay, is that everything? I'm trying to remember. I think that's all the goofy that has happened. Pretty much. Anyway, yep, I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing last Monday. I don't know, it was on, it was the first, it was the first shirt that was in the drawer, all nice and folded up, so I put it on. What's funny is my best friend and I have both bought the shirt, and then without communicating to each other that we had both bought the shirt, we showed up in the same place together with this shirt on. Oh well. 
So uh, that's everything. Um, I have a cough coming on and it's not a terrible one, but we're gonna pause right here while I cough. Anyway, so I was giving you the, the farewells and goodbyes. Good luck to all of you who are trying to pick up on one of the five formerly out of print and now in super limited release, uh, Mirabilia's. Um, I always say it wrong. Let me think. Weishelt. There we go, got the L in the right place. Uh, Witchelt has released uh, five of the formerly out of print uh, Mirabilia's, including Lady of the Flag, um, Butterfly Fairy, uh, one of them, uh, the Queen Mermaid, which I actually have the Queen Mermaid, that's surprising. Um, the one with the beach and the sand castle, and one more. It's escaping me which, which one that is. But um, anyway, a limited release. All the stores are getting of 10 of each pattern. Um, good luck to those of you who are out there trying to get one of those. Best of luck. May the odds ever be in your favor. Um, I have a friend who has let, promised me that she will lend me her Lady of the Flag when um, she's done stitching it, so I'm not, I'm not panicked about it. If I happen to stumble across one, I'll buy it, but I'm not in a super hurry, so I can wait for her to be finished stitching it. In the meantime, I'm gathering up all sorts of fun little stitchy things to uh, send to her as a thank you, so, you know, a fair thank you. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it, but like I say, if I stumble across one, I'll buy one. Um, if not, oh well. It'll be okay. I'm not too worried about it, but uh, good luck to all of you who are really, really wanting one of those patterns and uh, trying to get your hands on one. That's everything. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I hope that frog stays far, far away from you. I hope you guys are able to stitch to your little heart's contents. Thank you so much to everybody who has liked, commented, and subscribed to my video. Thank you so much. I'm almost caught up with watching the rest of y'all. Uh, no floobies today because I accidentally left my lo my list at work. Oopsies. It stayed at work along with inspiration, but uh, there you have it. So take care, everybody. Take care, everyone. Hugs and stitches. Bye.